Kwenye taarifa nyingine ni kwamba viongozi mbalimbali pamoja na wakulima wamezidi kutoa maoni yao wakipinga pendekezo za la serikali la kutoza kodi bidhaa mbalimbali za kilimo punde zifikapo sokoni. Viongozi hao wamesema jambo hilo litawakandamiza wakulima. Maoni yao yanafuatia tangazo la waziri wa fedha Profesa Njugu na Ndungu Mwanzoni mwa mwaka huu kuwa kila mauzo ya kilo, kilimo ya shilingi mia moja mkulima atakuwa akitozwa shilingi tano. Huko msimu upanzo wa mvua ndefu ukikaribia, wakulima kote nchini wametakiwa kuwa macho na kuepuka mbegu feki. Mwenyekiti wa bodi ya kampuni ya Kenya Seed Purity Ngirisi alidokeza kwamba wafanyabiashara wasio waaminifu hufurika sokoni na mbegu na pembe jeogushi na wakulima wanapaswa kuwa makini. Leo nimeshukuru sana watu wa kutoka kila mahali Kirinyaga Embu Tharakanithi they've been here and we're able to explain even to the farmers uh, what they need to look out for especially uh, hii maneno ya fixed na tumewaambia kwamba we are with them kwa kinga na pia tunasaidiana na serikali kuu Ndekezo la waziri wa fedha Profesa Njuguna Ndungu la kutoza wakulima kodi ya mazao yao limeibua mjadala mkali miongoni mwa wakulima na viongozi humu nchini Viongozi hao pamoja na wakulima umetaja hatua hiyo kuwa ya kuwakandamiza wakulima. Waziri Njuguna amependekeza kuwa mkulima atakuwa kitozo shilingi tano kila mauzo ya shilingi moja atakapofikisha mazao yake sokoni. Waziri akitaja sekta ya kilimo haijakuwa ikichangia vilivyo kwenye mfuko wa kodi la kitaifa kama inavyostahili. Kwa upande wake mbunge wa Gatanga Edward Murei amesema kwamba iwapo pendekezo hilo litatekelezwa ni sawa na kuwavunja wakulima mkono. Mbunge huyo akisema kuwa wakulima hao hugaramikia zaidi wanaponunua pembejeo kwa bei gali kama vile mbegu na mbolea. From where I sit as a member of parliament and also I sit as, as a lawyer. That's a good law because number one, it's a law which want to make sure that everything is digitized. That's in, in terms of is, it's the, the spirit of the law is, is the way it's supposed to be. However, every rule has an exception. The farmers need to be an exception. And I think in the process of making that law, and that's what we have even proposed in the coming supplementary budget, that's what we have, we have proposed in the coming finance bill. There need to be what you call a threshold. It's not everybody who needs to file e teams. Who is selling? Something below 2 million shillings or they are about, does not need to file e-teams. But if big corporations who are doing that kind of big businesses, they can do it. Why is that important? So at least we shield the farmer from what you call direct taxation. Remember, we, our farmers carry a lot of taxation from the, from the seeds they are buying, from the, from the chemicals they use, uh, and, and, or, and, and even from the food they eat, they hold, there's what you call indirect taxation. And as a Kenya concert government, we told the farmers, we told the farmers that once we get an opportunity to serve them, we shall, our, our key duty and responsibility is to put money in their pocket. Baadhi ya wakulima walilalamikia kodi hiyo wakipendekeza itupiliwa mbali kwani itawafanya washindwe kujimudu kimaisha. Iwapo sheria hiyo itapitishwa na bunge la kitaifa na kisha itekelezwe, inamaanisha kuwa kila mtu kulima atakuwa akilipia asilimia tano ya mauzo yake sokoni. Na nitataka huyu badala ya kulipa koti eh, tulipishwe pesa kidogo kwa sababu tunapata tu kidogo lakini ile ama kaboni ile kubwa nanunua ilipishwa kodi kwa sababu hiyo ndio ya mzuri kwa sababu sisi nakuwa na tabu sana wanachukua kodi ya hiyo kahawa wanachukua kodi ya majani wanachukua kodi ya, ya na, avocado sasa ninauliza kwa nini serikali inatuchezea wanatuchezea kwa sababu Hiyo lazima tu kodi iwe iweko lakini si kodi kama hiyo ambayo wanatutosha wanasema ati nikilima avocado wanachukua shilingi tano sasa hiyo shilingi tano ni ya nini kama mkulima mimi kama mimi ninanuliwa avocado moja kwa shilingi tano sasa wanasema ati nipatie ni, ni, ni hiyo shilingi tano sasa nitakuwa nikifanya kazi gani hiyo <laughs> hiyo hiyo motion muipere muiangalia mui mzuri ili hizi hizi si wakulima wadogo tu, tuweze kufaidika Waziri wa fedha amesema wizara yake kupitia bunge la kitaifa itaandaa mafunzo kwa wakulima na wakenya ili wajue umuhimu wa kulipa kodi za aina hiyo. So the moment you find there's a law which 
is not serving your people, I think it's important to, 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 to comfortably say, look, there is a mistake here, we need to change. And I think we have, I think we have, we have expressed ourselves on that issue, especially on that matters pertaining to avocado. We have talked very, very, very clear on, the, on, on that issue, especially on taxation, on milk, on, on macadamia, and all those other crops which, which touch our people. It's everybody, including the farmer of maize, the farmer of, the farmer of cotton, Everybody who is selling anything is supposed to buy items. And therefore, when I say we need to change that law, it's to change that law to serve every Kenyan. Tell you that there is a minimum threshold in terms of filing the A teams.